Welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, let's guess what combinations of foods and what? People? Animals. animals. Animals, yes. But people are animals. animals. You crazy animal. Yeah. But first, let's donate $1,000 to Equal Justice Initiative to aid in their mission to end mass incarceration and excessive punishment, to challenge racial and economic injustice, and to protect basic human rights for the most vulnerable people in American society. Please join us in giving to this incredible organization at egi.org. Egi.org. Thank you for being your mythical best. Uh, so we're looking at a picture and seeing if we can guess the combination, the pun and punification, before you do. This is a fun game. Want to see the first one? Yeah, let's see one. Uh, cat melon. Avocado. Uh, hey! Yeah. It's an, I thought it was a melon. I said cat melon. Avocado. <laughs> cat melon. Chappie, you did this? This is your handiwork? Yes, sir. Chappie. Uh, yeah, well, so, that, so that's not a cat melon. Yeah. So, so you had to make that cat green? Yes, sir. How do you do that? With a green filter? No. Yeah. Just a, just a, it's just a saturation. Well, it's got to be more than saturation. You're telling me if you just up the saturation on a cat, they all turn green? <laughs> well, is there like a painting tool and you painted each individual hair with green? Sure. It was. I would say it was more of a you. You slid the tinter. The hue. The hue. After all this time, you know, I used to do this Photoshop. photoshopping. Yes. This is the this is the one that you need to know about. Is how you make how the, to cat turn green. the cat green? I mean, I just I I'm looking at green. that. And I'm like, I couldn't do that. I couldn't make a cat green. I enjoy the choice to keep the cat's head not green. Ungreen. Because it's like the pit. Pops, you know? It's like the pit <gasps> is what Chappie yeah. was thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. People are thinking, are what, what happened green? to Twinkle Fingies, you know? Chappie's over here doing this. What's, twi uh, what, what, what's well, Twinkle Twinkle Fingies doing? What are we going to talk about? He doesn't, he doesn't believe in the combination of animal and food. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. right. He said, so we don't, no we more photo editing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Did you, did you guys have to like... Did you have a fight about this? Like who was going to do it? Every day. Every day. Every day, yeah. All right. Let's see the next one. Pickangaroon. Pickangaroon. Uh, oh, Reuben. It's a Reuben sandwich. Kangarooben. Come on, Rat. I got it. I we said it at the same time, bro. Bro. There's a lot happening here. So The so pickles are kind of excessive. That, that threw it. They're big, too. Those are some big freaking pickles or a really small kangaroo. Would you eat a Reuben out of a I guess it's a small pouch? pouch. Cuz look how big the toothpick is. Well, it's being stabbed in the back. And also, okay, one time you know how I told you guys that I had um like I had mice when I was little, like as pets, mice will Jordan, Shaquille O'Squeal. <laughs> um Okay. Well, one day I woke up and I looked in their little habitat and I was like, how did they get strawberries? And it was little babies, little baby mice oh. that looked like How did they get strawberries? strawberry babies. Yeah. And that's what the that's what this kangaroo like pit looks like. What did you do with them? Did you get a pet snake? I ate them. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't taste like a strawberry. Maybe the second one will. Maybe uh, the third one will. Kangaroo is a great sandwich, but that doesn't make me want to eat one. All right. Hold on. Before we move on, go back, go back, go back. Why does this Kangaroo have a ball sack and uh, a Reuben sack. I don't think that's a ball sack. I think it's a a puffy vagina. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yes, I was gonna say puffy vagina. <laughs> All kangaroos have those. Hey, you need to. I don't, I actually I was gonna say like a uh, like tailbone, but that doesn't make sense because no. it has a tail. <laughs> I think you photoshopped. Uh, um, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Very I don't even know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I think you photoshopped a male kangaroo with a pouch. The females are the ones with the pouch. No, I don't think that's what's going on here. I think that's like a uh, in case you need a second tail. Just it's like it's ready to go. It's a flotation device that can be found under your seat. Because if a if if that's a kangaroo's ball sack, 
it can't be that hairy. Now I know for a fact. I know what a kangaroo's ball sack looks like because I've I've held one. Oh yeah, it was like it was. It had like uh, it was like a satchel for coins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you go to Australia. Everybody's trying to sell you a kangaroo ball sack. It's smaller than you would think because if it was that's too not big, it. They're bouncing Wait, all over the place. Are you are you for real? They have like coins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. But what yeah. about the puppy like vaginas? What do they're, they do with those? Their sacks are smaller than that because if it was that big, think about you jumping all the time. You know. You gotta really watch out for that. They had kangaroo well, that, vaginas we actually, too, and Chappie you would use those as like uh, oven one. mitts. Uh. Okay, puffy vagina oven mitt. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Let's not think about that right now. So that's actually not a scrotum. That's not a kangaroo scrotum. Well, we don't know. What I is think, it, have, you ever, have you ever seen one of those kangaroo spins around? You ever seen when a kangaroo spins around like a top? No. Yeah, they're they're balancing on that little nub. It's called the spin nub. They only do it a certain time of year, a certain time of day, and this, they've never caught it on video. I just know about it through folklore. It's a saggy taint. I mean, that's another good band saying, name. That's that's another way of saying spin nub. All right, next pumpkin, pumpkin python. python. Oh. Pumpkin python. Look at the tongue coming out of the end of that thing. There's something cute about it. He's cuter. It's definitely cuter. It's better than a regular snake. Like if I could replace all snakes' heads with pie, like if I was God, that's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? Top of the list. It's just like, what are you gonna do today, God? Well, have we done the pie on the he snake's head thing? Just like that. Because I've been sitting on that one for a while. <laughs> Ding! Change the world, man. That's what I would do. Change the world? Yes. It would change the world. Yeah. Think about it. Climate yeah. change will go away. Everything. No. You make all snakes pie heads. I don't believe that's what they mean when they use the phrase change the world. <laughs> Changing the way snakes look. Everybody's just picking up snakes and eating the heads. I <laughs> uh, want to remind you that we, we release all types of podcasts through Mythical. Uh, check them out. Ear Biscuits, that's with us. Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, that's with me and my dad. We have some quality time. A hot dog is a sandwich with uh, Nicole and Josh. That's an amazing podcast. Best friend back all right with Stevie and Nagin. Who knows what they're going to talk about now? It's limitless. And uh, they Trevor might talk about much. puffy vaginas. No, I was then. gonna say. Yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, y'all will do that. Yeah, y'all will do that. Uh, if, on, if one of our podcasts is going to talk about puffy vaginas, it's going to be best we'll friends. Leave back it all right. to yours now. Uh, yeah, I mean, me and my dad may talk about it. Well, that's, that's true. Totally different, yeah. just a different angle. That's true, that's true. A different vantage point. Uh, on TikTok, follow at Mythical Pods. You get like little snippets of them. That's a fun little account. I follow it on it's TikTok. It's a fun little account. And I just got to say, every once in a while, I see a little something. It's like, well, on there. I'm like, that was a little funny little bit. Need to check this out. Next one. Oh gosh, this is Dorito. Dodo Bur Doritos. Dodo Do Doritos. Do uh, here you go. <laughs> Way of the Dodo. So this is an extinct bird, hence the saying. And I like how you made the wing a different out eye. of a nacho, and then the Cool Ranch is the is the other feathers. <sighs> Man, to make all birds into chips, it might be better than making snakes into pie. Jeez. This seems like a good. Um, the meat you know how the kids do. For Thanksgiving, they're the the little art. I think this is a nice yeah, like a hand yeah, turkey. Yeah, 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 yeah. A chip dodo. Well, I mean a turkey for Thanksgiving, but yeah, I mean you could do a, a chip dodo. turkey dodo rito. Yeah. I don't believe that the dodos are extinct. <laughs> you know, I mean, how do they know there's not one? How do they know? <laughs> they don't. They're everywhere all the time. They're everywhere. If everywhere all at once. What's the name of that movie? Everything, everything. You're there all at once? Yeah. Is that what the scientists are? I don't think so. There could be a dodo that's just like, every time the scientists show up, he just goes behind a tree. If we don't just, know. If it's just one, then there will be none. You know how dodos are made. Well, I, I think it's, I believe that it is a small family of dodos. It's just a small family. There's still hope. <laughs> now, if they do find it, I will eat it. <laughs> oh is that why they're extinct? Yeah, because flightless like birds. Like buffaloes? 
Interesting little tidbit about island I'll fauna. I'll be the judge of that. About uh, island fauna has a tendency to be wiped out as soon as people show up. Because they evolve without particular like you know, widespread pedator, predators, and they're so too laid back. Lots of flightless birds on islands. People show up. They're like free turkey, you know. And I mean, to be fair, just they go up should to it call them, it. you know, don't don'ts if you weren't supposed to. Yeah, right. If you know. they had it done that, then people would have gotten a message. If they had it done don't don'ts instead of doo doos. <laughs> All right. Dan Great Danish. Danish shoot. Great Danish. Now I like what you've done with the hue here, Chubby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah How yeah, did yeah. you make no, that? What? That's not dog's face. That's not saturation. Cranberry. That's more than that. Now I wouldn't do this. I would not do this to dogs because people would just think it was a costume. You know what I'm saying? We saw one of those poodles. You know those poodles. They're a type of dog, but they they um. <laughs> Her head and ears were a, a totally different color. I didn't know it was a, a female dog. Looked like she was wearing um, a hat, but it was really just like fluorescent colored hair. And Lando said, "I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that. <laughs> don't believe in like dyeing your dog." Yeah, but I, I was like, "Dude, it's fine. Don't judge." Does that mean he does he thinks it's fake? It's make believe, or does it mean that he just doesn't believe in it morally? He disagrees with it morally. He did. He felt. He felt panged. He had. He felt pangs of morality. I mean, I get I try, it. I try to, I'm trying to get get all that. I out think of they're the super cool, but you know, even I mean, Barbara would probably that hair would take some dye. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it would. And I, I don't think I could, it does I, them any harm. No, I think Barbara would probably enjoy it, but it's not worth all the people on the internet who would. Tell me why I shouldn't have done it. Barbara would enjoy it. Yeah, she enjoys everything. <laughs> yeah, she's up. She's up. She's up for, for anything. You'd have to dye her um, the toy that she humps. Yeah. Yeah, that could get complicated. Yeah. Man, look at that Great Dane's feet. Aren't they cute? All right, next. Shh. What is that? A falafel? Not a. Uh, what is that? Falafel. Eel. Oh, that's an eel. You got it. Falaf eel. That's gross looking. Yeah. We talk about Did, eels on uh, Best Friends Back All Right. We uh, talk about eel daddy. That about is, eel sex. Heard, yep. That you is know. scary. Is that actually an eyeball from the actual eel? Just from a fish. It's from a fish. Because eels, their eyes are not that big because if they were, we would all be very, very frightened of them. <laughs> you know, if eels' eyes were that, that prominent, what, what? And they had a big pupil like that? Stevie, give us more of the nature of that conversation. Eel sex or eel daddy? You can pick between. Eel daddy. Okay, eel daddy is a TikToker who found um, this, like, it's, I don't know what it's called, it, this this uh, thing under his brother's garage that collects runoff water that you can then use that gray water, you know, the, like yes. a basin. It's like a pit. Yes. And he goes in there and he's got eels. I've seen this. Yes. I didn't know it was called Eel Daddy. Yeah, so he turned this like under garage area dungeon into a pit for eels that now live under his brother's garage. And he calls himself Eel Daddy. So he he far, he far put the eels in. Yeah. Does oh he gosh. do anything with the eels? Uh, he has a camping chair that is located in one corner that he sits in and watches yeah. the eels. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. No, no, dude. Next. Nope. Oh, look at the hue on that elephant. Ele oh, what do you call uh, charcuterie? Shoot. It's not charcuterie. It's, um, what do you call that, uh? What it's a plate, it's like, like muffaletta, it's like something like that. It's like, not crude to take because that's not elephaletta. I don't know what the word is. Elef, what uh, do you call that stuff? Uh, deli plate starts with an A. Afaletta, <laughs> it's in like the usually like the salad section of an Italian menu. Is, is it a caprese? Is no, that, no, it says it starts with an A. A caprese. Oh. It's an anti-pasta anti elephant. Close. I mean, I feel like that's acceptable, but it, like invert that. Elephant, elef, elef, elefant, elefantipasta. 
Oh, wow. You got it. Elefante pasta. Uh, anti. Elefante pasta. So I want to. Anti pasta. I always was kind of perplexed by this. And oh, is, there's is it no really pasta. just as simple as this is something you can get in an Italian restaurant that doesn't have pasta. So not pasta, like everything else besides pasta. <laughs> yeah. Or is it the person who came up with this was really like against pasta? Like the, this particular arrangement Both. of things is, a, is anti pasta. Like it's taking an active stance, it's not indifferent to pasta. Yeah, it, it means before. Actually, it means oh. before the meal. So, pastas, I guess, oh, is meal. Oh, anti. So, it, ante, it like an antecedent. So, it's like yeah. just an appetizer is all that means? Before yeah. the meal? Yeah. Man, so it's not against pasta. So it's pas- just before pasta. Pasta means meal? Huh. Pastas. Pasta. Yeah, it's like the pas- main pas- course. How did you get that green hue? That, now, that's very green. Why did you, you make def- it green? It's like it's like it. lettuce. It's like more lettuce. All right, I don't believe in it. <laughs> I like the detail of the ear on the other side of the salami. Like yep. you, did, you, you didn't hard. have to do that. Yes, yes, but you, you did. did. <laughs> you didn't have to. But it's the ear on the other side. It would be visible. Mm-hmm. A plus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next. Corn uh, snake, corn bra, corn snake, corn corn bra. <laughs> both good, both incorrect. Cobra, cobra corn. Shuck, shuck it. I like corn bra, I'm, and I'm. It sticking, is good. It is. Good. I'm sticking with cobra, it. Yeah. Cobra corn. Because that could also be like oh, a bra made of corn. It could be corn on the cobra. Yep. There we go. It it is corn. It on could the cobra. be corn on the cobra. How how are these developed? Is this um. So, do the writers come up with these, and then Chappie, you get a list, and you just decide which ones you want to do. Do you reject some of them? <laughs> I'm not doing corn huh? on the cobra. No, you don't reject anything. You just execute. Here's the thing: if corn I did on the cobra, if I if I snap my fingers and made all snakes' heads pie, everybody would immediately notice. But if I did all cobras as corn on the bottom side. It might take a few days. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would be slow. It'd be like, nah. No way. Whoa. No. I, th- I thought it looked like corn. And then it, like, somebody, I mean, how many people are out there touching cobras, first of all, right? Picking them up, looking at the other side. You see them when they come up like this. Even if you're a, oh, yeah, you a, see them a, when a they cobra come up like owner, that. you see them when they come up like this, and you're it's like, like well, corn? No. No, it's not well. You talk yourself out of it for a few days. It would take a week before anybody reported on the news about everybody's cobras having corn on Corn that would be a more interesting experiment. Change and if you slice it off, would it come back? I would hope so. Be sure to check out all the mythical podcasts like Ear Biscuits, Best Friends Back All Right, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, and more. All available wherever you get your podcasts.